Welcome to Rossi's Comedy Showcase. Some of the finest and funniest comedians in the country. Stop here first, and you can see them only at Rossi's, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Get ready for a half hour of highlights. It's Rossi's Comedy Showcase. Comcast 98. Comcast 98 on uh, Monday nights at 7.30, right. starting on the 21st. And so there'll be a half hour show uh, for a comedy show. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of cheesy, but we're going to do it anyway. So uh, tune into that sometime. And don't, uh, tonight, after the uh, the comedy show, we got the band Snapshot going to be here. And don't forget, next week, let's see, uh, um, the weekend, actually, uh, the night before Thanksgiving, that Wednesday night, one of the biggest bar nights of the whole year. Make sure you come on out for that night. We've got the Vancouver story going to be here, and it'll definitely be back. We'll be having a comedy show that Wednesday night as well, but also followed by a band. So, hope you come out for that. So, you guys ready for some comedy? Yeah! All right, please turn off your uh, cell phones or put them on silent. If you have to take a call, please take it outside and uh, try to keep the conversations down at the tables around you because it kind of gets annoying if somebody's gabbing at the table next to you the whole time during the show. Does that sound all right? All right, let me get my handy dandy cheat sheet here. I think I gotta fix that buzzer or something. All right, your first comic. Uh, she's from Chicago, plays comedy clubs and colleges all over the Midwest. Please put your hands together for Erica Edwards. Give her a loud for the audience. Oprah Winfrey story. All right, I guess there's some Oprah Winfrey fan 
kids in the crowd, and I have a lot of respect for Oprah, I really do. Um, I kind of think Stedman's a trip, but I have a lot of respect for Oprah, because I think she's a positive image for black women on television, and we need it, because TV has black women looking really crazy all of the time. You know, I mean, even when it comes to the little commercials, you know, like they have this yoga plate yoga commercial out where they show the black girl and the white girl talking about how good the yogurt is. <laughs> yeah. The white girl is like, oh, this is like 401k good. <laughs> yeah. 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 But the sister, she's like, oh, this is like getting a tax refund for kids I ain't even got good. <laughs> and the white girl's like, oh wow, this is like paying off my mortgage and owning my own home good. But the sister is like, hmm, man, this is like my baby's daddy getting out of prison on the work release program good. <laughs> and then finally they end that shit with the white girl being like, oh wow. This is like getting my trust fund early good. But the sister, she's like, oh, damn. This is like getting pregnant by an NBA ball playing good. <laughs> and the white girl is like, that is good. <laughs> so man, it, it's hard and, and black women have a rough time really do because a lot of times people always talk about how black women have children out of wedlock and you know we have these babies and we're not married and that's not all our fault you know I mean part of it's our history you know like Cleopatra queen of the Nile she had a baby for Caesar she had a baby for Mark Anthony you know she was out there but the difference is now you know we have a baby by Pokey you know, by Tyrone. But we need to focus on a world leader like Bush. You know, the mayor of Muskegon. Somebody. <laughs> can hook your kid up with a job. That's all I'm saying. Uh, in case you can't tell by my accent, I grew up with white people. <laughs> I actually, uh, I grew up in the suburb of Chicago called Oak Park. And it was nice growing up. Uh, you know, when I was growing up, it was a nice little suburb. You know, everything was nice and sweet. And now it's all ghetto. You know, all bugged out. I mean, it's so ghetto now that even my mom is in a gang. <laughs> yeah, it's a truck. And it's a gang that you all probably have up here in Muskegon. It's called Weight Watchers. <laughs> yeah. You guys know it's a gang. They will cut you for taking slim fast. But now, uh, Actually, when I'm not doing comedy during the day, I'm an attorney. And that's not the joke. And, uh, and it's so hard because attorneys get such a bad rap. You know, people always talk about how lawyers lie and cheat and steal and stuff. And, you know, it's not totally our fault. Okay? It's really not. Because people come up to me and they expect me to solve all of their legal problems. They're like, ooh, I got a brother on death row. Is there something you can do? Can you hook a brother up? Um, I can hook his wife up because I do divorce law. <laughs> Is he sleeping with mama? Because I can do something about that. <laughs> and uh, you know, because I'm a black attorney, people are always confusing me with somebody else, like the secretary or the cafeteria lady. <laughs> or the random crackhead on the corner. It wouldn't be so bad if it wasn't my boss who was so confused. <laughs> and sometimes, you know, sometimes my clients will ask me out. They'll ask me on a date. They'll want to take me out or something. And I don't get the good ones. You know, I don't get the drug dealers and want you to hold a million or two while they go away for life. <laughs> I don't get those. I think brothers that are gone for bankruptcy. <laughs> you know, they can't pay their bills, they live at home with their mother. Oh, my bad. Their mother lives with them. <laughs> I'm a 
one they want to hang out with. I'm the one they want to hook up with. I'm their dream girl. So it's, it's tough being a single man. Rossi's the place to go for comedy and live entertainment. Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Laugh your off with some of the funniest comedians from around the country, starting at 8.30 p.m. So you can get a seat, come in early. On Friday and Saturday, after the great laughs, great music hits the stage with West Michigan's finest bands. And if you're looking for laughs and great entertainment, you know where to come. It's Rossi's. Rossi's the place to go for comedy and live entertainment. Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. Laugh your off with some of the funniest comedians from around the country, starting at 8.30 p.m. So you can get a seat, come in early. On Friday and Saturday, after the great laughs, great music hits the stage with West Michigan's finest bands. And if you're looking for laughs and great entertainment, you know where to come. It's Rossi's. for protecting our country and doing their duty. May God bless our troops and may God bless the USA. Salute. Woo! All right, so you guys ready for your next comedian? Yeah. You guys are going to love this show, so get ready. It is going to be real good. You're going to love it. Let me get my little cheat sheet out again. Okay, you ladies are in for a real treat. He's a former kickboxing champion and was recently named by Ebony Magazine as one of the sexiest men alive. Please put your hands together for Win Rickard. Get loud for him, people. Thank you, thank you very much. Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> time you look at me right now. Expensive. 
you were looking for. It wasn't my friend. Like, oh, back it up, little man. Just it out of me. <laughs> this lady over here, you're looking at me like I'm a leprechaun. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm like Lucky Charms. <laughs> yeah, I'm magically delicious. <laughs> well, we appreciate you guys coming up Big Friday. Now, give it up for Eric. You did a good job over here. How about it? Let here. Yeah. I appreciate you guys coming at you. Good looking bunch tonight. Well, no, not the guy in the plaid shirt right there. No, this is what happens when you smoke pot and shop at Target right there. <laughs> you can girl bought the shirt, didn't she? And she, she didn't want you going on with nobody but her, right? <laughs> it's official, I'm getting my ass kicked. Okay, dude, you need to loosen up, my friend. I'm a laugh, little man. Come on, what's you from doing on there? Really, come on, dude, loosen up. Let's wear champagne for dinner. Yeah, in that case, you keep it nice and tight, mister. <laughs> Little tip for you folks, if you come to the comedy show, don't eat a Taco Bell, because you cannot laugh and flex your butt cheeks at the same time. <laughs> tough guy over here is like, yeah, you mess with me, I'll kick your ass. Don't even think about it, dude, I have a black belt, don't make me take it off. <laughs> I know some of you are probably wondering why I'm dressed this way, I, uh, I'm tired of women hitting on me. <laughs> You're not buying that for a second, are you? Hey, my applause. How many folks don't like what I'm wearing? My applause do not like what I'm wearing. <laughs> oh, you like what I'm wearing? Ooh, I'm getting laid, yeah. <laughs> She's like, no, you're not. So I went, you know, I went to my first uh, NASCAR race, and, and you know how like, a lot of people, when they go to a sporting event, they wear a jersey from their favorite team or their favorite player? I went to the race. I wore a Rusty Wallace Miller Lite racing jacket. No, it was crazy, guys. I thought it was Rusty Wallace. I'm going to shake my hands. The kids, they wanted an autograph, and, and the women were nuts. So one lady said she would do me if I let her sit in my car. And, and let me tell you, she was pissed when she saw my car. <laughs> She's like, that's not a dog. She said, that's a Chevy Cavalier right there. So yeah, good to be back here in Muskegon. I was just, I was just out in California visiting my parents. Things are cool now, but uh, when I was growing up, my dad was always spanking me. You guys ever get spanked when you growing up? Oh, you still like it, don't you, Blimey? <laughs> oh yeah, come on, skinny man. Or my booty. Yeah, who's your daddy? <laughs> who's your daddy? <laughs> who's your mama? Smoking pot. You too, good for you, man. <laughs> no, I had to, my 
my mom started charging me for it. <laughs> Tough to buy a good pop if you look like a narc. <laughs> I'm not alone. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Go up to your local neighborhood and drive you lie? <laughs> talk on the phone while you were flipping people off. <laughs> yeah, if you got one hand on the phone, the other one's shooting the bird, and, and the steering wheel's between your knees, you will spill your beer. <laughs> we got some beer drinkers here tonight, yeah. Hey, you know how when you're drinking a beer, how that last sip of the bottle always makes you want more beer? Yeah, you ever wonder what they put in the bottom of that bottle that makes you want more? It's probably the same thing that makes you want that Perkins waitress at 2 in the morning. <laughs>
I, I told that joke in uh, Georgia, the guy. And, uh, what's happening, dude? All right, yeah. He's like, hey, some seats down front. Let's fill it up and screw with this guy here. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. That's right, buddy. <laughs> what did you say? That's right. Thank you. They're, they're drinking tequila. <laughs> We're going to watch a little man get his ass kicked. Come on, it's going to be fun. What's up with the lesbians here? That's a pretty just nice, isn't it? They came out tonight. Yeah. No, it's Muskegon. It's all good. You can have it here. It's all legal. They voted it. Uh, are you guys married over here? What's up with you guys? <laughs> He's just pissed off. Oh, what are you doing, dude? Leave me alone. Go back to the lunch. Leave this shit alone. <laughs> so, are you guys are you okay? Are you guys having fun tonight? <laughs> cool. We appreciate you guys coming. I give it up for the white stuff, Doug and everybody working back. They're doing a good job for it. Let them hear. Yeah, man, that's cool. These guys, they work real hard back there. They don't make a lot of money, so leave them a couple extra bucks. Their uh, their drugs cost just as much as you so, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for joining us for Rossi's Comedy Showcase. Don't miss it every week on WMKG at 7.30 every Monday. Or catch the comedians live at Rossi's every Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday starting at 8.30 p.m. It's all at Rossi's Comedy at its best.